Backs in the eye, Gould under center, second and goal, pitch. Kaiser has it, going wide, cuts it back up the middle, he's in! His name may not always make the highlight reel. St. Thomas has scored! But for University of St. Thomas offensive lineman David Simmet, that's how he wants it. You look at the, the stats they have listed um, next to my name, and none of them are indicative uh, solely of me. Simmet won't tell you he's a reason for the team's success, but since putting on the purple, the Tommies have won more than 40 games and earned three NCAA playoff berths. I look at our team and I don't see one all-star. He's been a significant contributor, blocking for 27 100-yard-plus rushing performances and helping the Tommies pass for more than 250 yards on 15 occasions. When one of your best players is also one of your most humble people and your hardest workers, that's when you know you got a great one. For me, it's just about playing for your teammates, um, playing for your family who did all, the, all they did to put you in the position that you're in today. Even though his father, the ball. Let's move the ball. Bob Simmet, attended rivals St. John's University, he quickly got behind his son's decision to play for St. Thomas. He's embraced the purple. From the one, pitch, Roberts. There it is, go, go, go! Touchdown! Hey, He's really just come to enjoy the St. Thomas football community. At six foot nine and 342 pounds, two-time academic All-American Simmet is all in, whether he's on or off the field. I've never really been one for words. I, I can't make a motivational speech for the, a fire up, pump up speech for the team to save my life. So I think it's really just kind of leading by example. You might think that, you know, he's all about muscle and brawn and maybe not about intellect and heart, but his mind and heart fit the size of his body. You talk about being refreshed as a coach. Here's a guy who not only has worked tirelessly to be the best he can on the field, but also embraces that responsibility that he has to his community. Off the field, Simmet is an active volunteer. He's president and treasurer of a student group that travels the country during spring break doing community service. I just wanted to help one person or help a few people and it turned into something larger and I think that's how most good things start is not trying to tackle it all at once. The key to advancing the common good is caring about other people, being in contact with others, being able to put yourself in their shoes, have an empathy for the other person and he's willing to give his time and his energy to that. That's the reason I came here is because I didn't want to just be a football player. I wanted to be a football player and uh, a student and uh, part of uh, charitable organizations. Another scenario we can look at is reduced salvage value. A nearly 4.0 student, double majoring in accounting and finance, Simmet represents the best that St. Thomas has to offer. We certainly did not build him or mold him into something that he didn't already have in him. He had such a strong foundation. He knew who he was. He knew what his purpose was, and we were simply blessed enough to be able to add a brick or two to that strong foundation. Coach always talks about you come to St. Thomas to play football, but more importantly, you come to be the best father, husband, and leader of men that you can be. So I really just hope to, hope to fall into those three categories as best as I can.